Welcome to the box of the Tigers getting ready to face their toughest test to this date in the form of the Kentucky Wildcats. Now, Paul Maneri said he would like to see his team finish with at least 20 wins in the SEC. And every team that's gone on to finish with that many wins has won the conference. So it's going to take a 12-9 and nine finish. The problem with that, their schedule isn't that easy. Their next seven series are against teams that are currently in the top 25, including ninth-ranked Kentucky. Now, the Wildcats are set on both sides, their pitching staff's 2.46 ERA is third in the SEC behind Vandy and Arkansas. The Tigers will get a good look at three of those pitchers this weekend, A.J. Reed, Jarrett Grundy, and Corey Luttrell. All, by the way, lefties. Kentucky can also swing it a little bit, top five in almost all the offensive categories, including RBI and runs scored. Hey, they can also show a little pop at the plate with 18 homers, which is third best in the conference. They're going to be a challenge. There's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, they've, they've got a, what's becoming a very veteran team. Their leadoff hitter is outstanding. Their three-hole hitter is outstanding. They've got some tough outs in their order. So, you know, I can't tell you exactly how we're going to attack them. But, um, you know, there's no secret that Nola needs are strike throwers. And they're going, to, they're, going to, they're going to try to take the fight to the hitters. You know, they're going to, they're going to make them hit the ball. They're not going to walk them. The Wildcats may think about walking Mason Katz if they don't want to be a victim to another deep ball by the LSU senior first baseman. Kentucky's Friday night starter, A.J. Reed, said a good place to start is keeping the ball down. It's something the Missouri pitchers didn't live by a week ago. He tagged them for three homers and eight riggies, which led to Katz being named to National Player of the Week for the second time in three weeks. Katz has 13 homers and leads the nation with 49 riggies, but can he keep this tear up for the rest of the season. Let's hope that he stays hot. He may not hit 13 home runs or drive in 50 runs in the second half of the season, but he could still have a great year. And we may not go 26 and two in the second half of the season and still have a great year. Every at bat's a new situation, depending on what my team needs. You know, I have the chance to swing for the fences, so it's a, you know, it all depends on situations, and so you just try to live, uh, you know, every at bat separately. He's such a veteran now and he, he works hard he's smart he studies the game he knows what pitchers are trying to do to him he looks for certain pitches in certain situations now it's been more than the homers and rbi for number eight he's hitting 419 99 points higher than last season and only 15 strikeouts in 128 at bats last season he whipped 52 times on pace for that not to happen again. By the way, he has 30, he had 13 homers all last season. Now it's a 7 o'clock first pitch for this top 10 matchup. The Cats 22 and 6 and 6 and 3 in the SEC. Looking for a common opponent. They both played Mississippi State and both won those series. And Steve, Baldwin Harry said he expects the largest crowd all weekend for this series. And by the way, I decided to wear Kentucky blue and I did not know that, Steve. And everyone at the box so far are giving me a hard time about wearing Kentucky Blue. I didn't mean to do all, that, though, All 10,000 of them told you about it, I'm sure. All right. We'll have highlights tonight at 10. Thank you for your report.